Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys another doll out of my doll collection. This is uh, a Betty Boop uh, figurine made by Dan Barry Mint in the uh, 1990s. Um, she is actually made out of porcelain and uh, so I don't I don't mess with her a whole lot she's uh, she comes on this uh, little uh, walkway here her little stand uh, looks like little brick it's uh, a perfect little scene of Paris and um, I had gotten a, a couple of these dolls um, from a dear friend of mine um, um, back quite a little ways and uh, she had quite the collection of Betty Boop going on. She knew that I was a, a big collector of Betty Boop. And um, so um, I was very fortunate to um, be able to have been given these as gifts from her. I've got a couple of them that I'll be showing some videos of. And um, she's just a, a really, really cute, cute Betty Boop. So uh, like I said, um, she is made out of porcelain. And uh, so she's not like an actual um, doll per se. Um, she does have some joints in her, which makes it uh, an unusual figurine uh, made out of uh, porcelain. Um, so just some things about her. I, I don't believe that any of these that I have um, are marked. And um, she is definitely fashion doll size. So she's about 14 inches, maybe 14 inches tall, maybe just a tiny bit shorter than that. Um, but all of her uh, stuff that's uh, on her, all of her clothing could be uh, removed if you wanted to, and you could actually take her um, off of her stand. But um, I've never done that. Um, I think that she's adorable the way she is. I've always uh, displayed her in my doll room uh, just as she is. So the uh, background is like a little table set in uh, Paris. And uh, she has these little removable glasses that you could actually put on her face. Let's see if I can get those on her. Very, very, just really, really a cute, cute doll. Uh, she has carrying this little bag that has a little bit of uh, French bread in it. Let's see if I can get the, the camera a little bit closer. And some flowers, and that does come off of her. A lot of, uh, a lot of the dolls, a lot of these dolls that I have, the uh, all the clothes they do come off of them, and I don't know if the Danbury men did that on purpose to where they would have had extra clothes for them, or if that was just. Uh, uh, something that they that they made them that way so she's got on some little black shoes very very cute now in the bottom of those shoes is where she would be hooked to the uh, the little brick walkway here very very uh, cute little detail lots of detail in these uh, figurine dolls that I have so I'm, I'm a huge collector or once was a very huge collector of Betty Boop I love Betty Boop um, I've had many many things uh, over the years that I've collected uh, of her uh, but these out of my collection are probably some of my most favorites so she is that typical uh, cartoon Betty Boop with her eyes uh, I believe that all of these are hand painted very very detailed and very very pretty so I don't know if anybody out there has any of these uh, figurine dolls from the 90s from the Danbury Mint uh, that you'd be willing to share a picture or a video of. I know that they made quite a few of them, and um, I don't know if they still make uh, this line, but um, uh, back in the 90s, uh, I do know that they, they had even more than, than what I have co have in my collection. So um, if anybody is uh, willing to share a picture of, of uh, the ones that they have, uh, please leave that in the comments for me. You can even change the uh, direction of her head, all of that. So I... I um, <laughs> I think that that's a, a pretty wild thing that they had made these so that they could be posed in different uh, poses. So this is called Betty Boop in Paris. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.